Chinese are coming. The Chinese are coming. Their six-year-olds can do math that not even our seven-year-olds could conceive of. When I was a kid, it was Japan. Japan was the menacing Asian threat to American hegemony into the future. And this can't be true, but in my mind, there was like a local news story on this thing called the Japanese line method for multiplication. And it was a similar angle to this video, like, oh my gosh, look how fast the Japanese can multiply two digit numbers. Nothing can stop them now. The idea is that you represent 12 and 14 with a series of lines. So the 12 is going to be one line and then two, and the 14 is going to be one line and then four. And what you wanna look at are the intersections for these lines, top, middle, and bottom. You can see there is just one intersection here at the top, and that is the one of the 168 product. You can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six intersections in the middle, and that's the six of our product. And then down here where the two lines and the four lines cross, of course we have eight intersections, and that's the eight of our product. The video obviously didn't show the lines, but that is what's happening here with the one times one equals one, the two plus four equals six, and the two times four equals eight. The problem is this method doesn't scale well. It's very clever for smaller numbers in the teens and maybe even into the 20s, but certainly as you get into higher two digit numbers or for sure as you get into numbers larger than just two digits, it's not particularly convenient. There's also nothing particularly Asian about it. This isn't just a Japanese method. It's not just a Chinese method. In fact, there's an American method similar to this that we call the area model for multiplication. Although it's certainly true that we teach distribution in America, I presume they teach it everywhere. When students are younger, they often learn about distribution through something called the area model for multiplication. The area model for multiplication would represent this product 12 times 14 as a 10 plus a 2 and a 10 plus a 4. And rather than represent the different distributions, we would just compute these partial products. 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 4 is 40, and 4 times 2 is 8. It's the sum of these different boxes that give us the product of 168. You can tell that the area model actually is the same as the line method, but rather than count up some number of dots in an array, we're just actually multiplying out the numbers. As many people are fond of pointing out, the area model also also doesn't necessarily scale super well. There are clever ways to use it, but typically once we start multiplying larger and larger numbers, number one, we're just gonna use a calculator, but number two, if we have to do it by hand for some reason, we're probably just going to use the standard algorithm. The standard algorithm itself is a further abstraction of counting up dots in an array, or looking at the area of rectangles in the area model. So no, I wouldn't worry too much about the Chinese, the Chinese are coming. Anybody can do any of these forms of multiplication. What's beautiful to me about math education is demonstrating all these different models and the connections that they have to each other.